people concentrate on our obligations to Allah and they neglect the obligations towards the people around them. And today we will find out how dangerous it is to just concentrate on one and neglect the other. A man came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, Ya Rasulullah, there's a certain woman that prays tahajjud. She prays at night and she fasts during the day and she gives sadaqah. So that woman have already completed her dues, the fard, all the obligations are done and now she does extra stuff. She performs qiyam every night, she fasts Monday and Thursday and all the optional fast and she gives extra sadaqah. So she is in a level that is very, very high that every practicing Muslim would strive to achieve. But, the hadith continues, but she harms her neighbors with her tongue. Yani, she says bad things about them, she maybe insults them, maybe she backbites them. She hurts them with her tongue. What was the answer of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He said, there's no good in her. She is from the people of the hellfire. Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters, did you hear that? It shows us the importance of our manners, of our interaction with the people around us, the family members, the neighbors, colleagues at work. It is as important because this woman, she have already exceeded the obligation and she's doing the optional, but she harms her neighbor. That means she's going to the hellfire to be punished for that. All these optional ibadat, that she's performing did not protect her from the hellfire. So we have to be extremely careful about every word we say, about every action we do. And another hadith that confirms this hadith, which is the hadith of the bankrupt, Rasulullah said, the real bankrupt of my ummah would be a one, a person that will come on the day of judgment with salat with fasting, with sadaqah, with charity. But that person, he insults others. He defames others. He unlawfully consumed the wealth of others. He shed the blood of others and he beats others. So he does what's due, but he harms people in different manners. Rasulullah said, this person, his good deeds would be credited to the account of those who he harmed. If his good deeds fall short to clear the account, their sins would be entered in his account and would be thrown in the hell fire. My brothers and sisters, a hadith that started with someone who prays and fasts and given sadaqah and ended, he will be in the hell fire because he was or she was harming others around them. Because we hear sometimes, oh, this brother, he prays five times a day. Allahu Akbar, excellent. But he cheats, he lies, he spread rumors about others. He backbite. Oh, she, mashallah, have a, where's the niqab? And excellent, amazing. But she harms her neighbor. She creates fitna in her family. Sister, brother, be very careful. Look at these ahadith. Both are 100% authentic.